Hi everyone, welcome to a video on working remotely. We're going to cover the topic of scanning and signing a document today using your cell phone. And uh, hopefully this will help you while you're out and about so that you can work remotely a little bit better. I have a little video here of um, the recording that we did earlier while we did this so we're going to use the magic of science just to make this go a little bit faster than what it does in real life so let me kick off what you've got here is my phone on screen and we're in um, a Android phone and we're in the Play Store we're just searching for an application called Office when you search for the application called Office you should see this item at the top here this little red square and you'll find it in both app stores both in the iOS app store and in the Android app store you can click on that and say please install it and it'll go through the installation process this is where we will fast forward reality and it'll step straight through into downloaded and installed and the first thing that should happen is it'll go through the the right section it'll ask you um, can I please have access to your photo media as another device and other files on your device um, click allow there and allow it to have access otherwise it can't do much it then comes up for the first time when you load it in a getting started fashion um, you won't see this after the first time you've loaded it uh, if you click on the getting started it'll pop through to the welcome screen and the first time it opens a welcome screen it's going to show you this connect your account button um, if you um, wait for the splash screen to come up it'll come up with uh, a bit of information from Microsoft about your privacy it'll it'll then um, ask you if you want to assist in making the application better you can um, either accept and send them some optional data or you can say no thanks um, from there it'll just have a close button and uh, you want to click on connect your account this little connect your account that's over here you want to click on that one there that'll take you to the sign in and here it's your normal Microsoft uh, email address that you sign in with I've always thought that we all need to get very short email addresses because typing these things out on a phone is really long-winded but there you go once that's in you can go next and here we've got school or work account um, and or personal account so you'd be clicking school or work account if you if you're a, a operation or a, a business now you need to put your password in now I've got two-factor authentication running so I've clicked on that button I've put my password in and we're there now what it's going to do is synchronize with your OneDrive the documents that are in your OneDrive will now be put into the display on your phone it downloads just the list of documents it doesn't download the actual documents but from here if you click a button it'll download them so you can open them and work with them as well what we're going to do now is click on the plus button and um, we're going to go and sign a document so if we click on the plus button uh, we'll have this little menu pop up and we're after the one in the middle because we want to use our camera to scan a document with and that says lens so that's where we're going to go to if we click on lens you will then be asked to allow it access to your camera which you're going to have to allow if you want to do this from there you'll get this little display I've just swiped down to hide those little photographs you saw and you'll see that it does say at the moment that it's taking a photograph of some mountains so you would want to go and change it from photograph to document at the bottom here you'll see that I've changed it from photograph to document um, and then it'll start putting a red line around the document now best practice is to make sure that you've got a dark table some contrast between the white paper and the background will help the AI figure out where the boundaries of the document are it'll then find the document take a photograph of it and it'll then bring it up it'll flatten it it'll whiten it and it'll put it on the page so it's ready with page number one what you can then do is you can add another page using that button there and we're going to use the file type page shortly to change it from a graphic to a PDF so let's carry on 
and we've said we want another page I've just swiped the photographs out the way we're still on document it finds the red square we press the circle we get page number two and you'll notice that it's telling you how many pages you've put in this document on your little red arrow that sits over here right now we've got our two pages so we click on the little red arrow and we go to the next step where it says great I've got page one of two and the thing that we need to do here is click on the file type button to change it to PDF it's now says to the file type is set as PDF and we can click on the done button and we'll come back into the main application and it'll show us that PDF and if we click on the edit button you'll see that we clicked on the pencil up at the top over here it then takes us into the document when you're in the document from the straight edit button there's two options you have you can mark up the document with the pencils at the bottom they've got black and red and blue and yellow and a highlighter but we can sign it using this little uh, pen at the top here so it's the second pen but this one has a little scribble underneath it and that's the one for signing so we've tapped on that and it says tap anywhere you'd like to place your signature so once we've tapped on the document say I'd like to place my signature somewhere the application then changes into um, landscape mode because now it wants you to sign on the screen it wants an example of your signature so you're going to give the phone an example of your signature by signing on the screen with your finger and I'll show you what that looked like it looks like now because I'm going to do a fake signature on the screen in that um, on top of the gray line that you see at the bottom so on top of this line over here we need to put our little signature you use your finger and you can do it in different colors if you want and you say my signature or whatever your signature happens to be you'll see that the store is switched on so it's going to save it and it's now switched back to the normal document version so it's gone from landscape back to portrait and it's put that signature that you put in onto the document we're still able to move that around and we're also able to resize it by grabbing one of the corners and so you can put it on the document where you need it to be there's a delete option if you need to remove it and go again and if you tap at the bottom you can put a second signature in a second place so that sign in additional places is how you will go and sign additional places so there's two signatures in the document and there is a undo and redo button at the top that I'm using just to remove the second signature and then this little tick box over at the top here is where you say great I'm done I now have this document with my signature on the PDF ready to go to uh, the person that needs it and we have the share button at the bottom here which is what we're going to use to then send it off to somebody so if we click on that share button um, what's happening here actually is we decided to demonstrate the black pen so we've taken the black pen and we've drawn on top of the document and this is just a way to show you that you can go back into the document after you've signed it and still add on more images and add on more signatures if you want to now we've clicked on share and in share it comes up with a list of all the applications that you have on your phone and we could save it to our drive we could mail it with Gmail if you had Outlook and those things on your phone you could send it that way around in our particular case we're going to use what's on this phone so we're going to use um, Gmail to send it somewhere so we've clicked on Gmail and here is um, our from address we're going to put in our to address we can compose some email in the middle here saying here's your scanned document um, this would be the normal email client that's on your phone and you'll see it has attached that scanned document as an attachment inside of there the one we've scanned and signed then in essence we can click on the little blue airplane in the top corner and off it goes it's been mailed to the person that needs to get it and there you go we've used our phone to scan a document in and sign it when we're done editing it we can save it and this one saves it into your OneDrive here I've got both the personal and the business OneDrive linked and I can change the name while I'm busy to a name that makes sense to me
So it allows you to edit the name. I can save the name down and it'll then stick it into my OneDrive. From the OneDrive, we can then redo the process as well. So if somebody has mailed you a document and you need to sign it, or if you've saved the document to your OneDrive and you need to sign it, you can do the same process from this interface directly. You see there's three little dots on the side here. They're called an ellipsis. And if you click on the ellipsis of any of these documents, you will get um, a menu for the document. We've clicked on the actual document, and you'll see it opens the document again. And the pencil is available, and the signature pencil is available. Um, and the pens are still all there. We can add some color again to it. So you can keep redoing this process and keep adding comments and signatures to a document. This is really helpful where you have a process that multiple people must sign. There might be some comments that are needed on the document. And you can keep going through this process as the document is mailed between the people in the process. Um, this is now saved it there. We've clicked on the ellipsis menu at the top there. And again, we get all the options like share. In this particular case, you'll see what happens here is we get two choices around share. I can share it as a link because OneDrive and Office 365 have the facility to not physically send the document, but just send a link. And then when the person gets the link and they click on it, they then get the attachment. Otherwise, you can send the attachment as an attachment to the email. And here, of course, if you do share as link, you can do the link um, and you can say, I want you to send you, I want to send a link to you that you're able to edit the document. So you can sign it again. Or I can send you a link to a document that is view only. You cannot edit the document. And that's really handy for sending it to final um, external parties like vendors, consultants, etc. From here, that can uh, that can then be um, sent via Gmail. Um, and again, you'll see there's the link that's in the Gmail. It's not the actual file. We can add in the person it needs to go to. When they click on that link, they will get either the read-only or the editable version of the document. So we've opened this document again from our OneDrive. And we're going to tap again, add another signature to it. So this might be the final person in your workflow process. Has to add their signature, clicks on the, on the little tick button to save it back into their cloud. And there's the document updated again inside of the cloud as you go. So you can see how this little piece of software on your phone can allow you to grab the pieces of paper that are running around in your life, like delivery notes, invoices, etc. Grab them, sign them send them to the next person who can also open them, sign them, etc. Once you've installed the application, you'll see this little icon on your desktop. And that's the icon you'll use to open up the application and um, scan new files or um, scan existing ones that have been mailed to you. Thanks a ton. I hope this helps you all.